What's going on YouTube? All right, I've got another video for you guys. Hopefully this is a quick video. Uh, as you guys know, things happen. Uh, this happens to be how I'm going to do a quick repair on my oil drain plug. So apparently somehow uh, this, the, um, the threads on the oil pan have been stripped. It looks like the, the drain plug is, is good, but we'll find that out here uh, a little bit more uh, here in a, in, a, in a minute. But uh, I'm leaking oil all over the garage, uh, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around now real quick, and I'll show you guys what I'm working with. Okay, guys. So the, since the threads are messed up on the drain on the oil pan itself, I'm going to have to retap it. Uh, the original oil pan is 12.5 millimeters or 12 millimeters by 1.5. Uh, this is a drill bit or a tap to actually take it out to 14 uh, at 1.5 times 1.5. So that is going to be the, the actual plug size that we'll have. And then I found this online, which is actually a quick uh, drain plug type of uh, contraption, right? It's a system. Uh, we're gonna give this a shot. I thought this sounded like it would be pretty good. Comes with the little hose and everything. It's a quick connect. Uh, and then that way we can actually, it'll be easier for, for uh, draining the, the, uh, the fluid and I won't have to have an issue again where I've actually messed up the threads. Uh, to get this done, uh, this looks like this tap has to be drilled out to 31 by 64. I don't have a drill bit that size, so I had to run down to Harbor Freight and buy a new pack, which should have that drill bit in it. So I'm gonna get started on that now. We'll, uh, we'll jump into this real quick. Oh, and I guess I'll try to see if, you probably won't be able, oh, actually I've already kind of cleaned it up some, but uh, you can kind of see the remnants of where I've been leaking oil front and back there when I turned the car around. Um, and then underneath here, you're not, well, yeah, probably not gonna be able to see a good shot there, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. So I've got our lights set up and you can actually see where I've been draining oil. Uh, this is my drain plug here and you can actually see some of the aluminum threading that came from the oil pan that are actually left around here. Uh, that were, these were just basically still attached to that drain plug. So yeah, uh, definitely <laughs> have an issue. So uh, now that the f uh, fluid is drained or the oil is drained, we're gonna see if we, I can get you set up guys underneath there so you kind of see a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, and keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever done this, so. Okay guys, so at this point, I'm trying to make sure that I've cleaned off the surface real good. Uh, now we are going to try to see about using our drill and using the tap, uh, uh, not the tap, but the drill bit that we just picked up, the three, was a 31 64ths for the 14.5. Um, and we're going to see about drilling this out. We've gotta be, try to be as, uh, precise as possible. Uh, this is something you want to take your time on and hopefully I've got the length uh, and this might be an issue. Okay, and yeah, that's still an issue. So what I'm actually gonna have to do is I've got to get the car up a little bit higher in the air so that I'll actually be able to have the angle I need to to get in here and to drill this out. So uh, give me just a moment. Okay, so I've got this up just a little bit higher and we're gonna do our best to try to drill this as absolutely straight as possible. Again, trying to, trying to be as accurate as possible here. Yeah, there we go. And that seems to have done it there. Make sure that we're through pretty pretty well. I'll double check myself here. Okay, that looks good. So we've got our as you guys can see, we've got a hole drilled. Got to lost a lot of those little shavings, aluminum shavings everywhere. Uh, so we drilled out those old threads and now we're gonna pull out the tap and, uh, and tap the hole. So hopefully, to bring this in, you guys can see where that's been drilled out pretty well. So uh, now it's gonna be a matter of uh, tapping. 
Okay, so now we've let, uh, we're just coming back here. We, we let it kind of drain out, try to get as much fluid out, as out as possible. Uh, now I've uh, pulled out my tap and what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap this hole. Now, the most important thing to do is try to get this as straight as possible when you get ready to tap this hole. Uh, and that's the, that's the, the big deal, right? So that's what I'm gonna do now. Start trying to get this in position. And then we're gonna start working this tap backward and back, backwards and forward so we, so we can actually start getting this uh, knocked out. Let's see here, I'm just kind of looking at my, where I'm at and what that looks like here. I'm gonna actually, see if I can adjust that a little bit here. be pretty pretty straight there so we're just gonna okay like I said just kind of starting here but I want to make sure that this is as straight as possible so just double checking myself before we uh we really get get going in other words but um I will be back with you guys here shortly I don't want to waste too much of your time here with this Hopefully you guys are able to see this here. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer. But I'm working on the tapping process right now. And uh, we're just kind of slowly going here, trying to make sure we got it straight as possible. Kind of make a couple of turns and then back it off and then keep going. But this is this is what the tapping process is all about. And then hopefully we'll have ourselves a nicely tapped hole here in just a few minutes. So not a extremely complicated process. Of course, the, uh, the most time you're gonna, for me was trying to make sure that I had this tap going in as straight as possible. Uh, and I'm still hoping that that is the case. I think I did pretty good on that part, but, uh, and I think there's enough uh, meat here that even if I didn't, that I'm still okay. But uh, yeah, it's kind of hard when you've got the car on a ramp already at an angle, and then you're having to, uh, to tap, right? So yeah, I think that's pretty much just kind of going through these threads, making sure that things moving smooth so in my mind that hole is pretty much tapped so we'll get it out here in a, just a moment here I'm gonna also uh, try to spray it with some brake clean make sure that we've got the threads and, and this whole surface really nice and clean and I will give you guys uh, a look at what our a hole looks like or our threads look like in just a moment for uh, so again I apologize for the views here but this is the best i can do uh on my garage floor but uh yeah those threads those threads look so much better i'm not sure if you guys can see that or not hopefully you can uh so now we are going to get our new uh quick drain plug and get that uh installed we should be good to go now it is time for the valvo max uh, oil system drain plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this open. Uh, instructions online say that you actually fit this uh, unit on. Of course, it already has another washer for you. It tells you just to uh, snug tight or just hand tight. Um, so that's probably what we're going to do. I might I might pull out my torque wrench and see if I can get it down to the normal 25 newton meters. Um, this here, it tells you to use a 24 millimeter socket, which is what I have here. So we're going to do that now. And here we are again. So the, again, the surface has been cleaned off real good. We're just gonna grab our plug here now and go ahead and start working it in. There we go. And one thing I've noticed here and just telling myself is that uh, there's a little, uh, this rubber section here is a holder to hold that cap on. That actually goes over the O-ring. So what I will do here, because I wanna be able to get my socket on here, I'm gonna to have to slide this over the top of that O-ring. And then when I put it back, I'll make sure that I go back over the top of the O-ring, in other words. Okay. So here we go. Got it on there. It's definitely looking nice. 
Let's see here if we can actually oh actually I'm probably gonna take this o-ring off because it's getting caught on the o-ring and I don't want to damage it so let's see if I can do this very nicely let me grab my little o-ring pick real quick just a moment guys and we're back so I've got my little o-ring pick here I'm just gonna slide back behind this o-ring if I can get behind it there we go just gonna pull this o-ring off real quick don't want to stretch it too bad okay and now there we go guys my apologies here apparently my camera uh memory was full and so we lost some footage there but uh basically all i did was just torque down uh this this drain plug i torqued it down to uh 24 uh, 25 newton meters went ahead and put my o-ring back on as well as the holder here for the uh this um cap and it is good to go and so this is just hand tight on no big deal so as you can see we can unscrew that if we need to so you leave that hand tight and that should be good so now i am going to refill the car with engine oil and this should be a uh, problem from the past won't have to worry about leaking oil all over my garage floor anymore so uh one other thing that i just wanted to kind of see if i can give you guys a little bit of a view from this here there we go i'm not sure if you guys can see that but uh, i was you know wanting to make sure that this was not hanging down too low with the cap there uh, i've got that engine shield and as you guys can see it does tuck up there uh, so it does not look like that's something that should get hit and and cause me any issues there and lose oil but i uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys uh, an idea of what that looks like if you guys want to do something like this for yourself Okay, so if you guys have made it this far in the video, thanks again for tuning into the channel. Um, as you can see in this one, uh, we, we, we don't have a, a leaky oil drain plug anymore. So I was able to go ahead and retap uh, the drain plug. Uh, so as you guys know, we went from a 12 millimeter uh, times 1.5, which is what the OEM setting is. And now we're sitting at 14 millimeters times 1.5. And we have now that quick uh, drain system. So I think that'll make it a little bit easier for me when I get ready to do my oil changes. So uh, if this is your first time to the channel, guys, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, but everyone else, guys, be safe. We'll catch you guys in the next video.